Hello, I'm Jules. Hello, I'm Sarah. And welcome. Welcome to Jules and Sarah, the podcast, where actually it is a continued conversation from previous podcasts about um, cake fillings. Now, a reason why this has come to my attention is we have just started wedding planning and <gasps> now you're going to start getting into the bridal content of Jules and Dutch. Um, but one question that they did ask, because uh, we're having a wedding planner, was, and what kind of cake? And when would you like to cut the cake? And the, I was like, oh my God, I've not thought about any of this. Um, because I am a big fan of a cake at weddings. A big, big yeah. fan. And it yeah. actually, yeah. it distresses me when people don't eat the cake. And I actually always make a very, very poignant point of eating the cake at the wedding. Yes. Now we might, Sarah, have the cake cutting before we have sit down and then actually serve the cake afterwards. So we, we cut With it. With your coffee. Yeah, yeah, we cut it. People go away and slice it up, do all of that. And then after dinner, coffee comes out, cake's there. Gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. My friend Tess had a profiterole cake. Oh, which I have was seen the, them. Yeah, which was the pudding. It then became the pudding. I like that. I like that. Wedding. So there's no I liked waste. It. I don't like food it. waste. No, um, what I don't enjoy, and I think this will surprise a lot of the Portslough crew, I I want a normal cake and a cheesecake. You know, you know the stacks of cheese. That, that have you seen that? The Sarah, sort of rounds that makes of cheese. Complete yeah, sense. I want both. I don't. What I don't no. want is a wedding cake to be replaced by blocks of cheese, and it's very popular. It's very popular. Lots of people do it. It gets suggested to us a lot by Portslough crew because obviously yeah. we do talk about cheese on this podcast, but it is, it's a separate course. That is a separate yeah. course. We're not Absolutely. Combining cheese. Absolutely. It would bake totally goods. Don't be ridiculous. 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 <laughs> so what are you thinking fillings wise? And are you and Dutch on the same page? We haven't entered this conversation yet, Sarah. Um, but I will say that Dutch baked goods are a lot better than English baked goods. And so it will be a lot of, it'll be a lot of like apple cinnamon flavours and, you know, really Dutch delicacy. I, but something that's really, it's staying with me, Sarah, is that raspberry filled sponge from well, your event. Let's talk about that cake because I've thought about nothing else now for mm. weeks. Um, that cake, now, first of all, we need to shout out my gorgeous, gorgeous friend, Charlotte Jacqueline. She's who, my friend too. <laughs> sorry, our gorgeous, gorgeous friend, Charlotte Jacqueline, uh, who sent me that cake uh, in her absence. Now, Charlotte was meant to come on Saturday. She couldn't legally attend for COVID-related matters. Um, but that cake <laughs> arrived. That cake arrived and it was from April's Bakery. Now, if you don't follow April's Bakery on Instagram... Please, please go and have a look because it, it, oh my God, it was gorgeous. It was an exceptional cake. And yes, when we cut into it, it was fresh raspberry, cream, and it, I suppose it was a sort of twist on a Victoria sponge, which is twist. my favourite cake. It was it, it, a Victoria sponge. A hundred percent, Sarah. I'm with you. We are aligned on this. Now, what I did know, and I am very, very passionate about this. Now, I... I never leave icing. I never leave icing. I see it a lot at events. People eat the cake, leave the icing. I'm like, yep. if you're doing it, you're doing it. But what I did like at your event, Sarah, was um, there were fresh strawberries to hand, within reach, actually, of where I was sat at that very moment in yes. time. Yes, yes. Perfectly placed on this, like, plinth of fruit. It was great. Um, but then I used the icing to spread over the strawberries and ate. Gorgeous. Very good. You know, I don't, I don't very, want to say I outdid myself, good. but you know, yeah. <laughs> that's how it's done, folks. <laughs> I'm trying to think, I, at our wedding, so we had a three-tiered cake, and I believe that we had two tiers of Victoria sponge, and the top tier was chocolate cake, because that's John Hillcock's favourite. John Hillcock loves a chocolate cake. I would never, I would refuse a chocolate cake, and that is not like me. I wouldn't actually go for it. I'm not interested in a coffee walnut cake. I know it's oh, very I popular. Oh, I love a coffee walnut. Yeah, I, th I thought, I, I had you down as a coffee walnut lover. I mean, I would eat that. Don't get me wrong. I'd push through for that. But yeah, I just don't think you can go wrong with a Vicky sponge. No, a vanilla, or a classic a birthday cream. cake. Yes, I, yes, absolutely. What I don't want at a wedding... And in fact, I don't want it at any other time. Than I'm, glad, I'm glad we're having our conversation. I yeah. know now you're rider. 
<laughs> fruit cake. I'm not interested in a fruit cake wedding cake. There I might want... be fruit cake at our wedding because we've got a lot of Yorkshire folk coming. They need that sort I of palate understand. cleanse. <laughs> I understand. No, I'd take a slice of it. I'm just, I just think it's a shame to waste a wedding cake <laughs> on fruit cake. I just think it's a shame. I'm happy to have it out. I'm happy to have it served. But yeah, I mean, look, if you do go ahead with fruit cake, it's fine. I just won't come. <laughs> 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 oh my gosh Portslough crew we adore you for listening we'll see you on Friday for the big icing <laughs> bye you never wait to hit the dance floor or for someone else to start the conga line and definitely don't wait for a viral video to show you how to move so why wait until someday to book your family trip seize your someday today with Travelocity get clear information to confidently book your vacation I never say no to dancing or traveling. Let's go. Seize your someday. Click here and book, book, book. Travelocity. 